do a reading and see if enough people will turn out to turn the tide uh, in the elections? Will there be enough people turn out to overcome the Republican agenda? Will we have enough people turn out to overcome the Republican agenda? Well, most of the most of the reading is about um, what's going on in the world. You know, the money, 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 drama, drama, drama around the money situation. Okay, we have uh, so here we have you know what's rapidly coming. We have looking at you know the Trump. The Trump dynamic. What's going on with the Trump dynamic? There he is standing there with his, you know, with all his wealth, looking at, rapidly looking at what's going on with all his wealth and drama with that. Yeah, and people are tired of it. Tired of his drama, okay? Rapidly coming, we've seen Trump, we've seen all his drama, we're sick of it, okay? So what we have going into it is, you know, we see all the infighting going on now. Lots and lots of infighting going on, and people are getting ready to mobilize, okay? Getting ready to mobilize uh, underneath of it, the one card we have is on the journey, okay? Wanting to change this dynamic, you know, change this uh, structure of power, wanting to see something new in place when it comes to our finances and just, you know, healthcare, everything, wanting to bring something new forward. So it looks like, you know, start of something new, uh, he's on his journey, uh, wanting to mobilize, okay, above it. You know, people want to have a happy thing. It's like, you know, we're tired of this nonsense. We want it to be a better place, and we have to be like the magician to make it happen, okay? We have to make it happen, okay? And the only way that we're going to make it happen make the change is by getting out the vote. So it's like, uh, you know, people want again to have a happy, happy home life, happy thing, yet have security behind their thing. And in order to do that, we're gonna have to construct, do what's needed to craft it, uh, to come together, to craft it, to, um, to make it happen. People have been working towards that endeavor. Yeah, especially the women. The women are talking to one another, connecting, uh, wanting to see a positive change. Um, so I think that a lot of women are gonna come out to, to vote. Yeah, because they're tired of the Emperor Trump, okay? <laughs> like the Emperor standing up there and all his nonsense that's been going on. T 
tired of his nonsense. Yeah, they want they want righteousness. They want something in there of benefit. So so far, <clears throat> looking at this, it looks like people are motivated. They're wanting to go forward, especially the women. Okay. I don't know how we're going to do with minorities and things, but it looks like really women have had enough of this administration for the most part. Of course, we got the loopy-loo women of a Make America Great, the MAGA, MAGA community. <laughs> I don't know why every time I hear MAGA, I think of maggots. I don't know. He's feeding on some dead body. Just look. <laughs> MAGA. MAGA maggots, <laughs> you know. And they're, you know, <clears throat> they're feeding a dead administration. I mean, really, we need to go forward. And it looks like, again, people are wanting, you know, to get back to uh, better times and better things. So that it looks like at this point, um, women are really going to uh, want to change the narrative and um, go to vote. So, so far, it looks good, but we'll see if the cards are right or wrong and if the women going out to vote makes, is, will make enough of a change to make that happen. Let's continue to watch and see how it unfolds. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you online. That's it, women. Continue to stand up. Of course, this is not saying we don't need the men. We need the men, too. But you know something interesting on this channel? I found out looking at the stats, it's like 80% women that watch this channel. Where'd all the men go? Okay. <laughs> That's okay. If they're mega men, we don't, want, we don't want them to watch. We want them to stay. Whatever they're busy at, let them keep doing it and not go to vote. Okay, that's, that's okay too. <laughs> but for the men that are not MAGA men, we hope we see you at the polls as well. Let's all go forward and turn the tide and get something in that makes sense. Okay? This thing with Trump, well, why, what do I care if a guy got killed? I'm doing great business. Yeah, why care? As long as you're doing good business, what the heck do you care about if somebody gets tortured and murdered and killed? As long as it doesn't cut into my bottom line, I'm fine with it. You know, oh, God, he's so disgusting. Anyway, so let's get forward, and I will see you online. Thanks for tuning in, and have a great day. Aho.